In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add more rows to the bottom of your bet tracker spreadsheet. So the first thing that's worth mentioning is that it's a good idea to add more rows before you get too close to the bottom. If you've only got one or two empty rows at the bottom, it's going to take a while to add more. You want to start adding them when you've got at least maybe 10 or 15 uh, rows left, maybe even more than that, depending how, on how many bets you're placing. Uh, so I've got about a dozen rows here and I'm going to highlight all of these empty ones. Then once they're highlighted, I can right click and I can insert 12 more rows below. So there we go, I've, I've doubled the number of empty rows at the bottom, but there's still another step after that. If you notice here, the new rows that I've added uh, don't have cell borders around them. And if I click on this, this was the bottom row before, you can see that there's, there's a formula in that cell, but these cells below don't have the formula. So what we need to do is highlight the last row that had the formula and also all these new rows. And we're just going to copy the formula down. So I'm using a Mac, so it's just Command D. Uh, for PC, I think it's Control D, but whatever your copy down form, uh, keystroke is, you can just use that. So now you can see these cell borders have appeared and um, all these all these cells along here now have formulas in them. The other thing worth mentioning is that it's really important that when you're highlighting the cells, you actually highlight the whole row. You can't just copy these cells in the table. There's some um, hidden cells further along that include formulas and it's important that you copy those down as well. So when you're highlighting, make sure that you highlight the entire row. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you've got any questions, you can let us know. Cheers.